What is feminism? Well, I'd say it's social cancer, but I bet you have something a little more entitled to say. Probably full of lies and deception, huh? Warning! The following video is probably offensive as hell. Comments and criticism from the captain are uncensored and embellished to the point of absurdity for entertainment value. If you get offended easily, you should refrain from viewing this content. Or view it anyway and bitch about it in the comments. Those are always good for a laugh. Feminism, in the words of Beyonce, is- Okay, why do you assholes always have to bring in Beyonce? Seriously, was there an election for the feminist president that I missed? Or is the dictionary just an oppressive construct of the patriarchy? Is technically the social and political and economic equality of the sexes. Yeah, yeah, you say one thing and do another. Then you throw in poor fucking Beyonce. Did she even agree to be your messiah? But it's really so much more than that. <laughs> I get the feeling you don't know the half of it. Um, to me, feminism is just like being able to take up as much space as I want. Shit, maybe you do know what feminism is. Because it's like my right as a human being to just feel my emotions and say whatever I want. So, and now, now mind you, this is just what I'm gathering from your own words. Feminism allows you to take up everybody else's space to use as your own because having a vagina entitles you to it. And you're allowed to be an emotional wreck, not responsible for the things you say so they can't be held against you later. Yeah, that sounds about right so far. And not feel small, kind of like how all girls are taught. Being a man, I never got to go to those classes where they taught me I was small. So you ladies are going to have to confirm this one for me. And I don't know, for me it's just like a way of like living your life unapologetically. That's because you blame everything on men. No matter how bad you fucked up, it's not your fault and you're not apologizing for it. <laughs> yeah, still sounds like feminism. And you know, females are like 50% of the population, so I don't understand why we were taught our entire lives to be like sorry for a lot of stuff. No, I'm thinking that might have just been you. Maybe you should have focused a little more on not fucking up so much. You know, learning responsibility. If you did, then you wouldn't need feminism to make excuses for you. Or like, basically hate our bodies and just like feel like we can't really say much or act up and... Those all sound like personal problems, not gendered issues. You should go see a therapist or your school counselor. Feminism kind of just like goes against all that and just like really, I know it's really cliche, but it just empowers you to be better and be bigger and just like live your life to the fullest. No, it tries to make sure you get that big full life without having to work for it on the basis of having been born a woman. Who can be a feminist? Well, Firstly, anybody born with a vagina. Secondly, any man who's willing to have his balls chopped off. Everyone, anyone, literally any sex, any gender, like anyone can be a feminist. Like it's not just for women. It's not just for like privileged white women. Everyone can be a feminist. It's just basically believing that women are people and they deserve human rights. Yeah, like I said, the magic V card gets you unlimited human rights or some rights if you're the plus one of someone wielding this card after you've had your balls chopped off. So, if you believe that, then yes, you're a feminist. Fuck out of here with that shit. That's, that's so fucking stupid. Now, hold on. It's like me saying, well, you like water, don't you? You drink it, you wash in it, your body's made primarily water, so congratulations, you're a fucking dolphin. I really hate, this is kind of going on a tangent, but I really hate when people are like... Yeah, you're definitely a feminist. Throwing a tantrum about things you hate. Oh, I believe in equal rights for women, but like, I'm not a feminist. Like, do you know how words work? Like, literally, like. Like, literally, oh my gosh. Seriously, though, do you understand how words work? You find the word that best suits the definition you're looking for, not one that kind of pertains to some parts of what you're talking about. Grab that dictionary and stop listening to fucking Beyonce. That's like saying, like, Aziz Ansari has this joke, and it's like, it's like saying, like, oh, I'm a doctor who. Uh, specializes in skincare, but I'm not a dermatologist like that word is too strong like you're you're a feminist Like if you believe in the equality of women like you're a feminist like that's how words work like sorry <laughs> Okay, you'll, you'll see why I'm cracking up. I'm gonna run this by again That's like saying like Aziz Ansari has this joke and it's like it's like saying like oh, I'm a doctor who uh, Specializes in skincare, but I'm not a dermatologist like that word is too strong like you're you're a feminist like if you believe in the equality of women like you're a feminist like that's how words work like sorry 
<laughs> I, I don't even know how many times she's been doing that this entire video. I just happened to stop for this one 16 second segment and she said like 10 fucking times. Holy shit. Dear God. Anyway, I think you kind of missed the punchline, dumbass. Look at the words equalist and egalitarian. They suit the definition of advocating for equality so much better than feminism does. Not to mention association with those words don't automatically assign you as a fucking cult member. Seriously? You have three questions for feminism for your video, and you waste one on fashion. Okay, let's do this. With In regards to fashion and feminism, I think that, you know, for me, like, I went to a Catholic school my whole life, and so I was always, like, had very strict dress codes, how, like, short your skirt could be. Holy fucking shit. I had a little piece of a script written down for this, but after noticing how many times she says the word like, I just can't get it out of my fucking head. Yeah, like, how your collar had to stick out, all that stuff. And I find that a little bit ridiculous, because a lot of the times, even though going to an all-girls school, like, the excuse for having a strict dress code was... Holy shit. I can't, I can't fucking do this. I, I, I can't, I can't focus on anything else than just every time she says the word like. Got it. It shouldn't be as funny as it is, but I'm sitting here wondering how many fucking times I've heard her say it and didn't even notice. <laughs> anyway, let's, 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 tr let's try to ignore it and just continue on with the video. Now you see dress codes are actually in place, that way you and your social justice warrior buddies can't pitch a fucking fit and bully the hell out of somebody wearing a shirt that says something you don't like. It's also in place because people knew you feminist cunts would accuse male teachers of sexually assaulting you with their eyes if they looked around to see you had their hands raised up. I only bring up those points because I'm assuming you don't subscribe to the theory of common decency. Oh, we have male teachers here and like they're not going to be able to do their job if you're not dressed correctly and like yes yeah, so that's that feminist agenda behind your dress code again blame your fellow feminists for it because everybody's objectifying you when you wear promiscuous clothing or blame the fucking patriarchy because that's where you go to hide from responsibility one i think that makes male teachers look extremely creepy there you go keep proving my point go on ahead drive it home for me i'll just sit here and drink my coffee and two it's like what are you talking about like if i wear a tank top here in college like Guys can still learn, like we still have a graduation rate of 90%, like everything's fine, I promise. Yeah, now you see, they figure once you made it to college, your brain should have developed enough to conjure up some common sense. Now, until children start showing more common sense and good judgment at young ages, you can expect there to still be boundaries and limitations set for them. I just think it's ridiculous to teach girls to be extremely apologetic for their bodies and like extremely ashamed of their bodies. You know what? I'm going to humor you. Alright, everybody, let's just play along, okay? So all women, all fucking women in the whole world are taught to be ashamed and apologetic of their bodies. Now I want to see the fucking just mountains of video and evidence to substantiate these claims. This got this just gotta be fucking thrown across the floor. There's gotta be tons of it everywhere. So you can prove to me that the patriarchy is behind it all and that you're not just making shit up to bitch about. When you spend their entire lives sexualizing them. Now everybody here can see the hypocrisy, right? You can't say that men spend their lives sexualizing women and say they also made dress codes. I mean, if that were true, then every girl under a dress code would be walking around butt ass naked. I mean, at the very at the very least, you would only be allowed to wear thongs and bottle caps over your nipples. And just like, you can wear whatever you want. I promise. Like everyone's gonna be okay if you wear whatever you want. Well, everyone, there you have it. Classic feminist values, propaganda, misinformation, delusions. In any case, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Like, don't forget to subscribe and like, leave a comment and like, like, and God help us all. <laughs> Until next time, guys, have a great evening.